Look at the amazing leaves on this fatinia. Look, it's a mutation. It's a mutation. Variegation, the most common form of mutation as I understand. Look, they're beautifully mutated, aren't they? Beautifully variegated. Lovely variegated leaves. Let's see how close we can get without climbing into the whole bush. Aren't they wonderful? Look at that. Aren't they wonderful? Beautiful variegated. I suppose it could be disease, but I think it's probably variegation. Yes, it is. Look, it's only on half that leaf over there. Look at that one. Wonderful. What we'll do is we'll, in winter time, when the cooler weather comes back, we'll try and grow some. Very drought resistant shrub. I think it's from China actually. Beautiful variegated leaves. And I don't recall noticing any variegated leaves before on this photinia. Let's hope it develops a nice branch. I'll give it plenty of water and hope we can take some cuttings from it. Good drought resistant plant anyway. Well, well, I've climbed right into the bush. I don't know if the pink is uh, indicative of disease of some sort, but looks variegated to me. It does. Looks variegated to me, doesn't it? It looks like variegation to me. Apparently this one has got has got uh, cyanogenic glycosides in it, so the leaves are poison, according to Wiki. It's related to apples, it's a member of the rose family. I think we've got an opportunity to have a nice variegated fratinia in our garden. Look at those lovely variegated leaves, aren't they wonderful? Fertinia, I mean, it comes from the Greek for glossy, apparently. For tinos or something. I do like variegated leaves on some plants. I don't auto automatically like uh, variegations that are only on the edge of the leaf. This has got a completely mottled leaf and it's very attractive. Look at that. Wonderful. We're all genetically different, aren't we? That's only on half the leaf, which sort of indicates something to do with genes, doesn't it? Sort of, if you think of petunias and things. What's all that red about? Is it disease? And again, look, the red is only on one side of the leaf there. It's definitely only on one half of the leaf, that redness. Interesting. Oops, where are you? There's that red again. It's only on one side. It's pretty anyway. Let's hope that we can multiply it. What am I doing in the middle of a bush? So there's our beautiful, beautiful Photinia. Is it Serralata? I'm not sure. I'll put the Latin on the screen, the botanical Latin. It's from China and it's very drought resistant. Amazingly drought resistant really. It could get by without any water at all once it's established. See ya.